Imagine a technology that is used in Mars rovers. Yes, you heard it right. Mars rovers is now used in the vacuum cleaners to clean your home. How does it sound? Yes, it's no surprise that most of you watching this video don't believe what I just said. But stay tuned to know all the interesting facts about this technology until the end of this video. Okay, let me tell you a little about the Mars Rovers technology. Rovers use something called Rover Compute Element. It's a PowerPC 750 chip from a G4 Macintosh. Now this controls everything on the rover that also calculates its position and navigation. Why am I telling you all this? How is this related to the smart vacuum cleaners we are using today? Yes, this is something that everyone should know as a consumer of a smart vacuum cleaner. Just imagine how amazing it is to use the cutting edge and the sophisticated technology such as the ones used in space rovers today in your home. And you must be surprised to know that the same tech is used in autonomous space rovers and other self-driving cars that are invented by Elon Musk and others today. Welcome to the advanced autonomous technology used in Mars rovers that enables the rover to position itself and navigate throughout the Martian surface in search of finding life on Mars. Rover has a lot of other technologies that include testing the chemical composition of rocks, soil, gas and liquid found on Mars and sends back the same information to the Earth for the scientists to study them in detail and analyze the building blocks of Martian surface and understand the situations of life on Mars. But to achieve this feat, a rover needs to be capable of its basic requirement which is to navigate and position itself in order to perform the secondary operations. The primary function of a rover is to scan the designated areas of Mars and produce a map so it can then navigate the unknown surface of the terrain easily. Here comes the SLAM technology into picture. SLAM stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping is the synchronous location awareness and recording of the environment in a map of a computer or a device or a robot or a drone or other autonomous vehicles. SLAM is a key component in self-driving vehicles and other autonomous robots as they provide awareness of where they are and the best routes to follow to reach their destination. By creating its own maps, SLAM enables quicker, more autonomous and adaptable responses than pre-programmed routes. A number of emitters and sensors work together in sensor fusion with an AI for a single purpose in SLAM. A robot that uses SLAM, for example, employs various types of cameras and sensors such as radar, LiDAR, ultrasonic and other technologies to understand its environment. By better understanding its environment, a robot can more effectively map, navigate, avoid obstacles and adjust to changes. Highly accurate GPS modules have reduced the need for SLAM in some applications. High precision GPS can almost entirely replace SLAM in some outdoor environments. Environments. That said, GPS may suffer reduced performance or outages and SLAM can fill in the gaps in navigation where more detail is needed and also take over in the case of these difficulties. Robots have a lot of applications and most of them are designed to serve indoors as humans spend 85% of their time in rooms. So there must be an important technology that robots must have for indoor automatic positioning and navigation without which they wouldn't serve the purpose. Now, there is a revolution in vacuum cleaners that is happening which is changing the way we live as these new smart vacuum cleaners are now autonomous and intelligent enough to know where they are located while also navigating the entire house. And this is just the beginning of smart robots entering our lives and homes with artificial intelligence. It is just unimaginable to think about the possibilities that this technology could evolve into. So these smart vacuum cleaners have come up with something called LiDAR which is a complete indoor location and navigation solution. This is capable of transmitting the data that it captures and also the data from other sensors to an algorithm processing unit that is then transformed to the location information and control commands. Let me just give you an example here. It's easy to navigate for a person in a room as that person knows where all objects like tables, chairs, bed, door, walls, etc. are located. 
But what if you are taken to a new place and kept inside a room which is completely dark? That's when you will try to take a step-by-step -step approach to find and identify things like door, table, belt, etc. on your way and register them in your memory and thereby you will eventually learn and understand to navigate and you will know your current location in the room as well. Now let's talk about a robot that is placed inside a room and that is now given the same task as you were to identify things in that room and locate itself. So now it will need to understand the area around it and the objects placed inside the area so that it can navigate through the room without hitting the objects, walls and also locate itself and also locate its current position. So that's where the cutting edge technology called SLAM comes into picture. Using this technology, the smart vacuum cleaners make a map of all the things in a room for the first time and will know where exactly table, chairs, stairs, sofa, walls, etc. are and will be able to navigate with ease from the next time you run it. In the real world, there are a lot of locations that the robot needs to get its location independently by itself. RoboVacuum can use LiDAR and other sensors to accurately calculate its position and path. Even if the robot is moved to another position physically, it can still reposition itself. When the path and destination are determined by the robot, it will get the best path to reach the destination. After getting a target, the robot will do the path planning to find the right path. Since anything can happen in the determined path, like if the robot gets blocked, it will find a new path immediately. RoboVacuum's advanced motion control algorithm can modify the robot's movement smoothly and let it avoid obstacles automatically. It provides two different path modes in their shortest path mode and maximum coverage mode. We can also specify the movement section of the robot to a specific area. After the robot learns the map and location and learns path planning, charging itself gets very simple. This is a very practical feature. When the battery is low, the robot will automatically reach the charging station to refill its battery and will start resuming the left off cleaning task. Smart vacuum cleaner can process the data from LiDAR and other sensors to see more objects and dynamically adapt to the real world. Smart vacuum also combines other sensors like infrared, collision sensors and cliff sensors to accurately calculate the path and position so it can navigate and clean with ease. People can simply use the phones to see the smart vacuum cleaner information displayed and control the robot vacuum using the phone itself. This is an innovation in smart vacuum cleaning technologies that uses SLAM technology. I am proud to say we are living in a world of technology that is not just equipping us with a lot of information but also enabling us to perform some of the basic needs that a human wants in a day-to-day -day life. And these smart vacuum cleaners are using one such technology called SLAM that I just described. We should be very happy to live with. We need to wait and see the kind of evolution these personal home gadgets will get us into. No robot vacuum will navigate flawlessly all the time. You'll sometimes have to detangle them from cords or extract them from a low couch they never should have gone under to begin with. Ultimately, which navigation method your robot vacuum uses doesn't matter as much as its ability to clean your floors to your satisfaction with a minimum of help from you. But the next time your vacuum navigation has you scratching your head, remember that there's probably a method to its madness.